Oh my freaking god. What is going on guys? It's your boy Razor Grill on a YouTube video and today we are bringing you guys some more X Defiant. Appreciate you guys on the other videos that have, we have been uploading. I've been trying to get some better quality videos out for you instead of quantity. I've done a lot of stuff for the YouTube channel to make the YouTube channel seem a little bit better and a little bit more unique and more noticeably professional. There's a lot of videos I deleted. There's a lot of videos I unlisted uh, to the public. I still have over 200 videos. Uh, I'm going to keep uploading good good amount of shorts to this channel. Besides the fact, I appreciate you guys leaving all the feedback you guys give me and the real ones who just actually watch videos and whatnot. We're playing more X Defiant. Dude, X Defiant is one of the more fun games to play. The sniping in this game gives so much free dopamine. It's not even funny. Even the Desert Eagle 50 is insane. I, I, I The video before this one, I actually uploaded a video of me only using the Desert Eagle. And I went like 52 and 17 or something like that. I, de I definitely need to warm up. Tonight is Saturday night. This is a video actually after my previous video. Dustin Poye is actually fighting is on Makasha for the Dustin's fighting for the belt tonight. Paula Costa is also fighting on the co-main against Sean Strickland, the formal uh, champion as well. That I can see that one be a snooze fest just because of how safe they are wanting to play each other, fight each other. Uh, but I can I can also see it being super like brawly and like I'm ex I'm excited for my boy Dustin to fight for the belt one more time. Hopefully this isn't isn't his last fight because he's one of my favorite fighters of all time. Yeah, well, ever since Dan Hooker and Dustin Poirier fought, I've always been a uh, Poirier uh, fan. If you guys ever seen haven't seen that fight, that fight is literally one of the most insane, uh, chaotic boxing matches in MMA, in my opinion. They're both bloody, both not non-stop. It's just like the same one with Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway. There, that was a really good fight. I mean, that was probably one of the best fights of all time. The last minute, last round, last second of the fight, Max Holloway just comes out clutch with the close it out. You know what would be insane is Dustin Poirier getting the ghillie on is on Mikachev. That would be insane. I would break. I would break like the world, honestly. Break the internet for a couple of days. Nice too. Just sniping in this game, let alone gives free dopamine. I mean, look at it. Another person sniping just because he knows that sniping feels so good to get the kills in it. Sometimes registers. I will. S Never mind. He's using L. The one thing I need X Defiant to work on, like I said in the last video, is either like the networking or the coding or whatever it is. But whenever you're get, you're getting in a gunfight and a one v one gunfight and you're trying to do your uh, man maneuvers, how you learn from you know from Call of Duty, and you're just going you're pe jiggle peeking and whatnot, and all of a sudden you're you're clearly behind the the corner, but you're dead. That shit pisses me off known to man. I mean, this game has always been like that. Even even in the beta was like that too. I don't know if it's a networking or if it's a coding issue that X Defiant or Ubisoft has. I don't know if it's the same way with like other games, but I know Tom Clancy doesn't have it like that. That might be more a finished game than anything. Uh, X Defiant just came out a couple weeks ago, so it can't really be perfect, but I wish uh, people... Oh, a collateral. That was a long freaking collateral. Holy crap. You guys remember back in the day whenever a finished game came out and you would buy it for $60 and you get at least like three months worth of content and then you would have to pay like a $20 to $40 DLC. It needs to go back to that kind of situation instead of microtransactions and all that stuff. I've been thinking about making another YouTube channel just to see if the YouTube pushes out the new YouTube channel as a new another algorithm. Oh, what, dude? The algorithm just makes it and pushes it out more. This, uh, unless, like, my... I just want to see if a newer YouTube channel would be, like, Rising 2.0 or something like that. If the same video on a newer YouTube channel does better than the main YouTube channel. And if that's the case, then we're going to have to do something like make the new YouTube channel the main channel. Or, you know, I don't want to have two different ones just because I've been I've put so much time and effort into this old one or the main one. So it doesn't make sense to start a new one. But I've seen a lot of new algorithms or new other people saying that they do this to get more views. If you're not seeing any progress, then you're doing something wrong. So I'm trying to make the things a little bit better, make the gameplay better, make the editing better. 
make the commentary better. That shot should have hit and killed that guy. I'm gonna probably make a new YouTube channel, new everything, just to make, upload the same video, not this video, but upload the same, either like multiverses or X to five. Shine bright like a diamond. Bro, move! Oh. Oh. Do you guys think this game's a lot easier to play because it's not much of a SBM uh, skill based matchmaking? Oh my freaking god. Oh my gosh, dude, that was insane. If you guys enjoy these videos, please leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you guys enjoying these types of videos. X Defiance, having fun. Multiverses might be the new wave as well. Appreciate you guys once again, one more time for the likes and feedback on these videos. Yeah. Much love, much respect as always. This has been your boy, Rizek.